Today we learn chapter seven, graph of motion. Today we learn chapter seven, graph of motion. Before we learn the graph motion, uh, we learn how to draw the graph first. We learn seven point one. We study the graph of the the distance time graph. Okay, today we learn distance time uh, time graph. Before we learn this one, we go and see how to draw a graph. The question asks you to draw a graph, distance time graph. So I draw the I draw the scale first. 我先画了 scale 先 So the graph table give you the time is zero two four six eight. So I label the scale. 我就 Table 给我这样子，那么我就 label 好，然后 distance is ten, twenty, thirty, and forty. So now I label, I label the graph. Okay. So I point when time is zero. 当时间是零的时候 ，your distance 这里是 distance. So is forty. When your time is two, 当你的时间是两秒的时候。你的 distance 三十 ，when your time is two, your distance is thirty. When time is four, 当它是四的时候 ，your distance is twenty. When six, your distance is ten. When eight is zero. So we just using a ruler, 用一把尺 ，OK, connect all the point, the straight line. 所以这个就是我们讲这画那一个 graph. Okay, we go to see the question three. Okay, question three. This is question three. Can this answer? In a marathon competition, the distance traveled by train is J kilometer. 他说，在一个马拉松的时候 ，train 跑的路线是 J kilometer. 然后它是用 j equal to zero point three, j is equal to zero point six t. That means j is the kilometer. That means j is your distance. J is distance, and t is the time. Draw the distance time graph for the first five minutes. 意思说我要零到五。的时间，然后它的 distance. So I want to draw the graph with the time zero until five minutes and the distance corresponding distance. So I just use two, uh, two point. So the time is from zero to five. So I use zero and five because I know this is a linear graph. 我知道 j equal to zero. 零点七呃，零点六 t 是一个直线来的。这个是 y equal to m x plus c. So this is a linear graph. So I just use two point. 如果你不要的话，你还是可以 You can use you can use zero until until five. So distance. 你可以这样子找 When t equal to zero. One, two, three, four, five. So when zero, zero. When one, zero point six. When two, one point two. That means this is time. Ah, so when zero, zero point six times zero, 零乘零点六乘零，那就是零。Zero point six times t equal to one. So zero point six times one, zero point six. Zero point six times two, one point two. Zero point six times three, one point eight. Zero point six point times four, two point four. Zero point six times five, so equal to three point zero. So you can find every distance for the time zero until five. But I just use zero and five because I know this is a straight line. 我知道这个是直线，所以我就没有找，我只是找最后前一个跟最后一个。So when time is zero, distance is zero. When time is three. Okay, when time is three, and、uh, when time is five, my distance is three. So I just use a ruler, I connect it. Okay, so this is 
j equal to 0 0.6 t question 2 I left for you dear t we just leave again in draw okay now we go to this one okay we learn this one this one is distance time graph today we learn distance time graph that means our y is distance x is time so on the x is time the y is distance distance the issue is距离 okay distance the issue is 距离 hey, 距离怎么写好 嗯, 距离 okay time is 时间 okay this is the crime the this is the distant time graph so we need to know a few items for this graph okay this is we call if i say this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 so if i find the gradient that means gradient is equal to y1 minus y2 x1 minus x2 this is how we find the gradient for a graph so for this distance versus time so got the gradient is equal to our speed the gradient is equal to speed so the gradients show the speed remember in this graph in this graph huh? the gradient is equal to speed speed is some speed is speed okay so we see the higher gradient shows the higher speed 这个斜度越斜的话 我们的gradient越斜的话 那么我们的speed就越高 那么这个平衡点代表什么呢 what is the meaning for the uh, horizontal line this means the horizontal graph shows the object stops or stationary ok 这个平点 你看这个是距离嘛 这个是时间 所以如果你没有跑的话 是不是没有distance 是不是没有距离就代表你是停下来了 that means the horizontal here that means you are stopped or we call stationary conditions 停止 ok this is positive what is mean by by the negative gradients 这样子的方向是positive嘛 那么这样子的方向是negative negative that means the object move back to the original point negative 代表它原本跑到这里 它就跑回它的原点 这个叫negative的意思是说跑回原点 如果你拿到你的答案 你的gradient是negative的话 那么就代表你是跑回原点 ok in this chapter you need to know the formula for the speed 你要知道速度的 formula speed is equal to distance so speed is equal to distance divided by time so please memorize like this dst okay speed is equal to distance divided by time okay you see this line so speed is equal to d distance divided by t if i ask you find the distance so distance is equal to x times t how you find the times if i ask you to find the time times is equal to d distance divide by divide by speed so you need to check the formula average speed this is uh, average speed 
帕拉朱布拉的平均速度 （average speed）。That means is total distance divided by total time. Actually, same with this one, but this one is total distance 总距离除掉总时间 ，total distance divided by total time. Okay, now we go to our first question. Okay, we look at question number one. This the distance time graph shows the motion of a particle within fifteen seconds. Okay, 这个 graph 是 distance time graph， 在十五秒里面的。Okay, calculate the duration. Okay, in this chapter, you need to know what is mean by duration. 什么是 duration? Duration 是持续时间。就是时间，其实就是找时间。Calculate the duration for which the particle stop. Stop, stop is horizontal line. I want to know the duration, the total time for the item, the object stop. So A, how you find the duration? So duration, 持续的时间它停下来是多少？ So it's ten minus five equal to five second. Okay, B. The total distance traveled by the particle, the particle move from here to here. So how? What is the total distance? So the total distance. This is distance. We look at the highest point. So it's. Fifty. So total distance is fifty meter. We use meter. C. The speed of the particle in the last five second. Okay, speed. Remember, speed is equal to distance divided by time. But remember, read the question carefully. Last five seconds. 我要最后五分钟。That means fifteen minus five is ten. That means I want to know here the speed. Speed is gradient. That means I need to find the gradient. Speed is equal to the gradient. Okay, actually, no need this one. Okay, speed is equal to our gradient. How to find the gradient? Okay, I know the point. Fifteen must take the X first, so fifty. This is the point. This point is ten. Y is twenty. So remember, is y two minus y one divided by x two minus x one. I just assume this is x two y two, x one y one. 我当做任何一个 x two y two 都可以 So fifty. Minus twenty. Remember, you start from this point. You must start from this point also. So fifteen minus ten. So is equal to thirty. So is six meter per second. Okay. So meter per second. This is the speed. Okay. We go to see the question two. Question two. This is question two. Okay, question number two. The distance time graph. Distance time graph shows the return journey of Raju from office. He is from office. 他从 office 回到他自己的家 From office to his house, he stopped at a shop. 他在一间店停下来，当他回家的路程 Stop at a shop. Okay. The duration in minutes. 
in minutes huh? remember you see this one is in hour Raju stop at the shop which one he stopped stop that means is the horizontal line okay stop 就是说他在 horizontal line 那里所以这里是他 stop 下来 this is the stop he stop over here that means this is the shop okay here is shop I want to know the duration a I want to know the time duration remember must in minutes okay duration is our time so 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 that means it's 0 0.1 this is hours okay this is our now I want minutes how to find minutes 这样可以把小时变成分钟 那你就要乘六十 you need to time 60 become minutes so you will get 6 minutes okay question B the distance in kilometer from office to shop from office to shop what is the total kilometer here so the distance from office to the shop is 30 minus 20 so it's equal to 10 kilometer the average speed of the whole journey 整个 the jun uh, average speed is equal to total distance 总距离 除以 total time 总时间 总距离 what is the total the distance from office to your house is 0 to 30 that means total distance is 30 km remember this is hour okay I want in hour so no problem so is how many total times is 1.0 hour so I will get 30 km per hour okay we look at question 3 the distant time graph shows the motion of a lorry from town A to town B from town A to town B and then return back to town A again 他从城市A去了城市B 再回到城市A Calculate the time taken by the lorry to travel from town B back to town A I want to know the time from B to A Okay, so time taken is equal to 时间 time so 11 11.45 minus 0.930 okay minus time okay we see 45 5 minus 0 5 4 minus 3 15 11 minus 9 so it's 2 so what does it mean time taken is equal to 2 还记得这样子的吗 你们的时间 so 2 hours 两个小时 15分钟 minutes Question B, the total distance in kilometer traveled by the lorry. Total distance. Total distance, how you find the total distance? From A to B is 120. From B to A also 100. 
120. Am I right? So the total distance is 120 plus 120, so equal to 240 kilometer. The average speed in kilometer per hour. Okay. Now the problem come. Okay. How many hours from A to B, B to A? Total time is? Okay, total time is equal to, okay, 11.45 minus 0 x. So 45, 11 minus x is 3. That means it's 3 hours 45 minutes. Am I right? So 3 hours 45 minutes. But the question asks, I want in hours only. Okay, 45 minutes, how to change to hour? So, 45, 一分钟, uh, 一小时, 六十分钟, one hour, is 60 minutes, so we need to divide by 60. So we get 3 hours plus 0 0.75 hour. This one changed to hour, man. So it's 3.75 hour total time. Okay, now I want to find the average speed. Pingjun Sudu. That means this. Total distance divide by total time. 总距离除以总时间. So total distance is 240 km. Total time in hour is 3.75 hour. So you get 64 kilometer per hour. 这个在下面吗？带上去就是 hash negative e. Okay. Now we go to problem solving. Okay. Problem solving. Okay. We look at question one. so that you can see it clearly. Okay, the diagram shows the distance time graph of a car. Question 1, uh, this is question 1. Shows the distance time graph of a car and a bus. The graph A, B, C, D. Graph A, B, C, D. This Present the journey of the car. This is car. And then, and then the graph ECF, ECF is this one. Represent the bus. Okay. The car lives from town X to town Y, and the bus lives from town Y to town X at the same time and travel along the same road. State the duration in minutes. In minutes, okay, this one is minutes, so no problem. For which the car stop? Car stop, that means horizontal line. So I want the duration. Duration. Okay, so it's equal to 50 minus 30. So it's 20 minutes. B. Find the distance in kilometer from town Y from town Y. When the two five hiker mix, the bus and car will meet together. Bus is the bus I want to know the distance from Y to this point. What is the distance over here? So the distance is equal to 
okay, is equal to 120. This one is 120. See this one, huh? Okay, so it's 120 minus 45. So you will get 75 kilometer. Question request in kilometer. Okay, calculate the average speed for the whole journey of the bus. Remember, I want bus. I don't want car. Whole journey, average speed. Average speed is equal to total distance divided by the total time. So total distance, 总距离, 巴士跑的. So bus is this one. So total distance is the total distance for the bus is 120. So total distance is 120. Sorry. It's 120. Total time is 0 to 80. That means it's 80. Okay, we see. Question request kilometer per hour. This one is kilometer per minute. This one is minutes. How to change to hours? 怎样把分钟变成小时? So you need to divide by 60. 这个是 hour. This one is kilometer. So now you only can get the answer 90 kilometer per hour. Okay, question number two. Question two. Okay, question two. The time shows the distant time graph of a bus in t minutes. Okay, I don't know the t. Start the duration in minutes. This is minutes. For which the bus stop? Stop, that means it's a horizontal line. So, number 2a. I want to find the duration. The duration for the bus stop is 6, 10 to 16. So, minus Minus 10, so you will get uh, 6 minutes. Calculate the average speed in kilometer hours. This one is minute, so be careful. Of the bus for the first 24 minutes, I want to know the average speed from 0 to 24 only. Okay, so speed remember the formula is equal to total distance average speed divide by total time average speed is total can you tell me the total distance this point so it's 28 km the time is 24 minutes but I want hour so you need to change through hour so divide by 60 这个是24分钟要换成小时 hour 所以你要处60 so you get 70 km per hour so be careful with the unit question C Calculate the value of t in minutes if the average speed of the bus on the return journey. This is go to destination. This one is return. This is return. the average speed gain the return. The average speed is The question gives you the return journey have the average speed.
is equal to 80 km per hour. Be careful with this one. Huh? So, we see. What is the total time that you taken? Okay. Now, every speed is total. This divide by total time. Equal to 80. What is your total distance from here to here? So, the total distance is 28 minus 0. So, it's 28. Total time equal to 80. So, your total time is equal to 28 over 80. So, you will get 0 0.35. Remember, this one is hour. But, I want the answer in minutes. So, 0 0.35 is equal to how many minutes? So, times 60. So, you get 21 minutes. Okay. This one is the time taken for here is 21 minutes. 这个是21分钟 But what is the T represent? 是不是要24加21? So it's 24 plus 21 is represent your T here So it's 45 Do you understand? This 21 minutes This 21 minutes Is represent the total time from here only Okay, 21分鐘只是代表這裡去到這裡罷了。所以呢,我要找t的話,我要找這個t的話,我一定要再加我之前的24再加以21。Okay, now we go to question 3. The, this is question 3 yeah? this is question 3 the distance time graph so Alif journey from school to his home so he start from school go back to home by a bicycle step the duration in minutes of okay, minutes no problem Ali stop for a rest stop that means it's horizontal line so now question three, I want the duration. Duration is time, duration is so it's 24 minus 12. So you get 12 minutes. Question B. Calculate the speed in meter per minute of meter per minute okay no problem of Ali's journey in the last 16 minutes 第, 最后十六分钟, 40 minus 16 is 24 that means I want to know the speed what is speed how to find speed from the graph speed is equal to our gradient Speed 就是要找 gradient Ok, 记得在这一课里面 Speed 就是用我们的 gradient So, I find the point I want from this point to this point Here is 24, x 24 Y is 800 Okay, so 800. So this point is your x is 40, your y is 0. Okay, now I want to find the speed. So speed is, remember, 
y minus y divide by x minus x. So y eight hundred minus zero. 24 start from this point, so your x must start from here. 你加 x 也要从这里开始减四十 ，so you will get. Hey, sorry, 四十减二十四 ，twenty-four minus forty. Yes, correct. No problem. So is. Eight hundred minus zero so is eight hundred. Twenty-four minus minus forty, so you get negative sixteen. So you get negative fifty minutes per a uh, meter per minutes. Negative that means is return journey. Okay, negative 代表是回的路线。Okay. C. Given the average speed of the whole journey is thirty three minutes meter per minutes. Okay. So, calculate the value of D. Okay. Average speed. Is equal to total distance divided by total time. Your total distance is d, is it? Long distance 就是 d. Okay. So your average speed given is thirty three. Your total distance is d. Total time. What is your total time? Total time is forty. So d is equal to one three two zero meter. Okay. Go to last question. Question four. Okay. Question four. Mr. Tan drove two hundred kilometers from Kuala Nerang to Taipei. The table shows the travel record. Okay. At a.m. start the journey. Okay. We see the graph. Okay. We see the graph. Well. Okay, so we see, we see the graph first. So from eight a.m. you start the journey. So I start from, uh, from Kuala Nerang. Here is Kuala. This is Taiping. So at a.m. at a.m. drive two hundred kilometer from Guana Nanan to Taiping. That means total distance is two hundred kilometer. He start the journey at fifty. He stop. Okay. We see what is the time over here. Total. So is. At fifty minus at is fifty minutes, right? So here to here is fifty minutes. He stop fifty minutes. Then he continue again. So at fifty, stop to rest at Kurong after traveling seventy kilometer. He stop. When he travels seventy kilometer, he start two hundred. He 开始是从瓜拉纳朗吗？两百。他走了七十。请问这里 stop 的地方是多少
Okay, he stopped. So that means he stopped at fifty. Stop over here is fifty. So can you tell me what is the p? So that means your p is equal to two hundred minus seventy is equal to one hundred thirty. After that, we see from f fifty to nine thirty is how many minutes? Okay, nine thirty minus at fifty. Okay. So not enough. So I borrow sixty. <coughs> Zero minus it. Six plus three nine. Minus five is forty. So I know from here to here is forty, and then from here to here, eleven fifteen minus nine thirty. So is so sixty. This one is ten. So five six plus one seven minus three forty five. So this one is one hour forty five. One hour forty five. If change to minutes, one hour sixty. So it's one zero five. So I know it's one zero five minutes. Ilingu. Okay. Now I want to know what is my Q. I stop to rest at Kurong. Here is Kurong. After traveling seventy, I only start my journey on. Nine thirty. So fifty here is fifty. So this one is forty. That means fifty plus forty is ninety. I check ninety plus one zero five. So it's one nine five. So it's correct. Okay. State the value of P and Q. Okay, I complete. Complete the distance time graph to represent. Okay, we see. Fifty to ninety. From fifty, this one is fifty minutes. I rest. That means I stop until I use forty minutes. 我用了四十分钟 I stop. So that means I stop is horizontal line. Then I only start my journey. Then I go back to typing. Continue the chant. Typing, uh, continue the journey. You go back to typing. So I complete the graph. Number uh, B, complete. Uh, okay. Now I calculate the B. Calculate the average speed in kilometer per hour for the whole journey. Remember our graph is minutes. I want in. Per hours, okay. Average speed is equal to total distance. 总距离再除掉总时间 Total time. Total distance. What is the total distance from here to here? So two hundred minus zero. So it's two hundred. Total distance. Total time is. Remember, it's one nine five is minutes. This is minutes. I want hour. This is kilometer. Okay, I want hours. So you need to divide by sixty. I want hours. So I want hours. Okay. Okay. So you will get sixty one point five four kilometer per hour. Okay, this is what we learned for today.